Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about what stereotypes people have about French food. Um, there are quite a few, so today we're going to talk of course about wine, cheese, snails and a few more things. So if you think it might interest you a bit, or you might be a little curious, you might want to judge us for eating snails, keep on watching. So number one, um, bread, of course. When you watch some movies or shows about Paris or France, for example, Emile in Paris, watch my last video, um, we always see some Parisian woman or male uh, walking around Paris with a baguette uh, under its arm or her arm. So that's pretty true. A lot of people go to bakeries in the morning, especially on weekends, to get fresh uh, pastries or bread. So we do love our bread and when it comes out fresh out of the bakery, it's just amazing. A lot of people actually don't resist and always eat a piece of bread. For example, my mom on the weekend, sometimes she'll get the fresh bread. And when she comes home, there is always a little piece of bread missing because, I mean, it's just warm and it f smells so good, so she can't resist, so I understand. So when do we eat bread? You can eat bread pretty much all day, every day. However, a lot of people try not to do that because it's not very good for you to eat that all the time. But for example, for breakfast, a lot of people will eat bread with like butter and jam. So for myself, I usually put strawberry jam on it because it's the only one I like and it's so good. So usually when you will get fresh bread, you don't really toast it because it's just so good by itself already and it's usually a little warm. So you will just have the bread, cut it in half, put some butter, some jam, so strawberry jam for me, on it. And then you have like a cafe au lait or some hot chocolate or even a tea, whatever you like, with that. Um, then when the bread is a little older or it's not very good sometimes, then you will usually toast it. That's how it works, at least in my family, and I think most people do that like that. Then you can have uh, bread for dinner and for lunch uh, to accompany the meal, you know, just because it's good. But also it helps, like, you know, gathering your food sometimes. Instead of you just using your fork, you use your piece of bread. Or if you have sauce, you just dip your uh, piece of bread in the sauce. I mean, it's so good. Um, so to accompany your meal, you will have some bread and then of course when you eat cheese, I mean it's so hard to eat cheese without bread, I mean it's so good together. We have that kind of funny jokes in France where it's like we love cheese and bread together so it's just like oh you're eating that and then oh you're done with the cheese but you still have a piece of bread and then you now have to take more cheese. Oh but you have more cheese now, you need another piece of bread and just never over, you know, you just, you just keep on eating. Yeah, so you can eat it for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Uh, you can actually eat bread also for snacks. A lot of people just eat bread for snacks, just a piece of bread, just when it's really good or sometimes just with something on top of it. No, there is always all a type of occasion to eat bread. So number two, I'm going to talk about cheese. We talked about bread, now for sure we need to talk about cheese. So of course we are so proud of our cheese, we have so many that are really famous and it's so good. I personally love cheese, all my family love cheese, we eat too much cheese. Um, so we try to reduce right now but it's really hard because it's so good. Um, but whatever. But I mean, so yeah, we do eat a lot of cheese, it's true, I mean everyone I know loves cheese. Um, so when do we eat it? Kind of like bread, we have a lot of ways to eat cheese. So you can, most of the time, when you will see people eat cheese, usually it's for dessert. So you will eat cheese right after you finish your meal and it can serve as a dessert. So instead of having, you know, like something sweet, you can have just cheese. Um, sometimes you actually will see that at restaurants if you have a menu sometime. Uh, at the dessert section, you will have like ice cream, uh, you know, like chocolate cake and cheese. You can take cheese instead of having a chocolate cake. It's like another dessert. We also can eat it uh, between uh, the meal and the dessert, what happens a lot of time when you have family dinners, for example, you will eat your meals, then you will eat cheese, and then you will have a sweet dessert after that, like a chocolate cake or strawberry cake or whatever you prefer and like. So it depends, usually if big family dinners, you always have something after that, but on daily basis, you can just have cheese as your dessert, maybe with a fruit after that. Other than that, you can actually eat cheese also for, um, how do you call that, appetizer? We say entrée. But your entree is your meal, so it's a little complex. Um, but yeah, here we can eat it as appetizer as well, usually on 
big meals like for Christmas or New Year's or like big events um, at the beginning you will have as an appetizer for example you will have either a little toast with like light cheese on it with like some herb or something or some or sometimes you just have little hard pieces of cheese and you to take it with like a little pick or, or a tiny little fork and then you will eat it so when during the week do we eat cheese a lot of people I can talk for everyone of course but a lot of people at least that I know of um, they eat more cheese during the weekend just because it's the weekend and you relax and eat a little more and enjoy yourself a little more um, and during the week usually if you have the choice if you're at your house all day then you will usually eat cheese more for lunch just because it's a little heavier so a lot of people try to eat a little lighter sometime in the evening and if they have the entire day at home but if you go outside, look, you go to work or anything, um, usually, because right now it's locked down, so a lot of people eat cheese during lunch, for example. But otherwise, other days when everyone goes to work and then they come home just for dinner, then they will have cheese for dinner sometime, of course. So one thing to remember that's pretty funny is that we really love cheese and it almost kind of represents a good time with your family and if you don't have cheese, you know, there is something wrong. And so when you have a really huge party like Christmas, you'll usually have a huge plate of cheese with like at least five, six or more different cheese. So that's just an important part of our family dinners is like you need to have a bunch of different types of cheese to enjoy your time. So the number three is one of the biggest question I had when I went to the US for example about French food is snails. A lot of people were so confused and disgusted because French people are known uh, to eat snails. So yes, it's true, we do eat snails. However, it's not something you eat on a daily basis and that people eat all the time. Basically, snails are kind of considered a delicacy and you eat it for special occasion. Um, so for example, people would eat snails for Christmas, for Valentine's Day, for big events, not on daily basis usually, like it's not something we do. Um, however, not that many people actually eat snails. Like in my entourage, do you say that? In your entourage, it's like people I know. I don't know that many people who actually really like snails. Uh, almost everyone I knew already tried at least once or twice. I myself, I think I had snails like two times in my life and I hate it. Um, I think it's really gross. Like the sauce is so good. However, the snail by itself, just knowing it's a snail, just gross me out. And the texture, I, I just don't like it. Usually in people I know, it's usually the older people that actually enjoy it and like it. And even people that I know eat snails sometimes, they don't eat it very often. A lot of people eat it maybe once, twice a year for a big occasion, like I said. So it's really not something we eat on a daily basis, like we can maybe sting by watching some movies or knowing some French stereotypes. It's not as much of a big deal like bread or cheese. It has nothing to compare with that. Um, bread and cheese are really things we eat all the time. Snails is a really rare occasion, more like a delicacy. Usually it's kind of actually expensive as well. It's not something that you just eat um, like a snack. Uh, you know, it's like a really nice meal you can try kind of a bit like oyster it's something really for like big occasion let me know actually in the comments if you already tried snails before or if it's really something that you don't want to ever try because it's gross you out and oh i understand because i thought it was really funny too because i made some videos about the us and kind of some food i found gross like um peanut butter and jelly and stuff like that and I had a lot of comments making in front of me like, oh, you're talking about peanut butter and jelly? I should not have talked about peanut butter and jelly because whew, people are sensitive about that. It's like a national tradition, national anthem kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I'm joking. But like, yeah, a lot of people were like, oh, but you eat snails and that's a lot more gross than just peanut butter and jelly. So yeah, I thought it was funny and I mean, I agree, yeah, snails and peanut butter and jelly, maybe there is a bit of a difference, but yeah. So let me know in the comments if you actually would like to try or not at all, just to laugh a bit. So number four are pastries. So a lot of uh, French stereotypes about food also are about pastries and bakeries in general, but a lot about pastries. So yes, we do eat a lot of pastries, but it's not like bread or cheese. It's not something we actually eat every day. It's more something we eat for rare occasion. Not as rare as like oyster and snails. It's kind of between uh, snails and 
cheese basically. Uh, it's something we eat on more rare occasion but we eat still pretty often. So for example in my family we'll eat pastries maybe like once a week sometimes when we eat a lot and otherwise maybe once every two weeks and when we eat it usually uh, for breakfast during the weekend for like pain chocolat and croissant and if it's like pastries more like a big dessert like uh, we'll eat it also during the weekend but after maybe lunch or something on Sundays. So talking about croissant and uh, pain au chocolat or like some French people like to say chocolatine um, we actually don't eat it all the time just because it's more you know it has that amazing like dreamy thing about it that you don't want to eat every single day because it won't have that amazing thing when you think about it anymore. So it needs to be special so you don't eat it every day mostly on the weekends and also it's not that good for you you know to just eat pastry every day so we try to kind of keep it on the low and just on the weekend sometimes and it's just so freaking good if you come to France of course you need to try some it's the bomb um, I personally prefer pain au chocolat just because I love chocolate um, I'm cho a chocolate addict so I love it however an amazing croissant also is amazing but croissants are also absolutely amazing when they are well made because the dough is so good with the butter I mean the butter is already in the dough like it's how they cook it you don't add some people add even more butter I think it's really weird I don't uh, I just eat it like it is but it's so freaking good I like to dip mine usually in hot chocolate because like I say I'm a chocolate addict so I love to mix both um, my parents for example don't do that my brother either they don't like to dip it in something I do it all the time like I dip my pain au chocolat or my croissant in a hot chocolate like just a little bit not the entire thing I don't like it because otherwise it's soggy but just a little bit I think it's so good and yeah that's just something that we do so these kind of things you buy them at the bakery they are everywhere it's just something you will find everywhere it's like the most famous things are croissant and pain au chocolat for other pastries sometimes maybe you won't find them everywhere in france but these two things of course so number five we're going to talk about a drink now it is wine you guessed it so yeah of course uh, France is known to have a lot of wine and that we are known to drink a lot of wine every time I see a French illustration I'll see always a guy or a girl with a glass of wine and it's not that false um, so we do drink a lot of wine uh, not during the week that much but mostly on the weekends or then after when we go to big family events or parties or when we go to the restaurants of course when you go to a French restaurant or Italian restaurant or that type of restaurant you usually always get wine as well. So we actually drink uh, wine with the entire meal. So basically you have different types of wine. I'm not going to do a course because I'm really bad. I don't really know my wine. Uh, okay I'm not that French yet. <laughs> Uh, I'm not grown enough I guess with wine um, but I just know like we have different type of wine so we have more like sugary one more like uh, not sugary one I can't find the word in my head right now but basically you can have all type of wine so you can have wine for uh, to eat with your appetizers then you have a special wine to more uh, eat with your meal and depending on what meal you're going to take you're not going to take the same wine and then we'll have wine with cheese and bread of course um, like I say, you need cheese, you need bread, but also you need wine. It's like the three combination thing you need to have. So, yeah, we'll always drink wine during the entire meal, during like big events. And then at restaurants, sometimes you just take one type of wine and just to go with your meal. And during the week, sometimes people will drink wine. But one thing that is really weird and funny about France is that social pressure of lacking wine. So it's something that you might have seen if you're French yourself but if you're not French there is that weird thing where if you don't really like wine you're not French enough. Um, like I didn't like wine for the longest time and like it's not something people really accept of you. They're not like oh you don't like it oh too bad okay. No they're like we are going to make you like it. You didn't taste enough wine. Your, your taste is not developed enough yet so we are going to make you like wine. Um, so there is a thing where you, you need to like wine because otherwise you're not French, you know? And I always liked beer a lot and not wine, I just love beers. And of course not the same, you don't drink it at the same moment, but I always liked beers a lot and people when they'll be like, you know, at a party or something, they'll be like, oh, like, let's get some wine. I will be like, let's get some beer. 
So yeah, I didn't really like it and people were always pressuring me to try more wine and enjoy it better. Actually now like wine a lot more. I still have a hard time with like more like red sour wine I guess and um, I like sweeter things but I do enjoy sometimes uh, a bit of wine with you know uh, my meals or cheese or something you know. So yeah, but just know of that it's weird but we have that little pressure of liking wine and I think it's kind of funny, I don't know. I feel like maybe in the US it's kind of like if you say you don't like peanut butter, I feel like people will look at you weird. So it's kind of like that. It's like in France, if you don't like wine, there's something weird, not French enough about you. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought and what other ideas of videos you would like to watch because sometimes I think it's interesting and you might not think it's interesting. So let me know what you guys want to know more about and maybe I will talk about these things and I'll see you next time. Bye!